Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. This is Green Giant Arborvitae in two minutes. Uh, Green Giant Arborvitae has become very popular very quickly as a fast growing screening plant. It can reach 40 to 60 feet in height and about 12 to 18 feet in width. It's extremely receptive to shearing, meaning you can shear the sides of it and keep it narrower than that. It's kind of surprised me how, honestly, how, how, how receptive it is to that. I've seen people keeping them really kind of super narrow. The proper spacing on Green Giant is probably five to six feet uh, apart. Um, they probably the plants would probably prefer, prefer to be a little wider than that over time, but um, five to six feet is probably the the, right, the sweet spot between our impatience waiting for them to fill in and the plants being healthy in the long term. They're very fast growing under good conditions, meaning if you put it in a bed that is mulched, uh, you give it some additional water during dry times. Um, after this, the first year it'll be kind of slow growing, the second year a little faster. The third year this thing can really take off and start putting on two plus feet of growth a year. Three to four feet of growth a year I've seen on these. But like I say, those are in optimal conditions. If you go plug this thing into your lawn and you ignore it, it's probably going to be very slow. It'll grow, but it'll take much, much longer to, uh, to become the screen that you want it to be. Uh, these can be uh, fertilized in the late winter or early spring with a slow release fertilizer, that's really all you need. Um, I would, they prefer moist, well drained soil. So if you're in clay based soil, you might want to mound them up a little bit when you plant them. Uh, don't cover anything with your mulch uh, after you plant them. Uh, and keep, you know, keep, keep, keep the spot where the wood enters the ground uh, above the grade uh, just a little bit. Uh, these are very uh, deer resistant. Uh, the, the parent, one of the parent plants of this is a, uh, a western red cedar, which is very, very deer resistant plant and that seems to have carried over into green giants. So that's very nice. These are hardy in zones five to eight. Green giants are also very disease resistant, which sets them apart from Leyland cypress. And it's one of the reasons this plant has become so popular uh, as a screening plant replacement uh, to Leyland cypress. Gets very few insect problems. I have seen bagworms on them, but I haven't seen the kind of bagworm inf infestations that Leyland cypress get. It would prefer full sun or part shade. I think you'd want to give these at least six hours of direct sun every day to keep them at their absolute fullest. So thank you very much for watching this two minute version of this variety. I frequently have a longer version of these videos on my channel that may show me planting them and maybe some additional information that I didn't share in this shortened version. I also have playlists on this channel for very specific needs. If you're looking for screening plants or foundation plants or shade plants, or you're in like zone six or seven, I have playlists that include all the plants that will grow in your area. So look for those playlists on my channel. Thanks for watching.